Hey guys, so last year we moved into this new house and one of the things I love the most about it is this butler's pantry. And I'm going to turn you around in just a second and show you one of my favorite parts of it. So this is supposed to be my little plant area, apothecary, and I kind of do some of that. Here's my gardening stuff. I just got to where I cleaned it out and I'm absolutely loving this. I have my herb books because I'm really into that and botany and all that stuff. Um, so I'll be having some videos on that soon. Today is wash day. I'm going to be washing cocoa. So not only is this a um, planter area, which is awesome, I get to wash my little dog in it too. Not so much that one. She doesn't fit. Hey Stormy. Hey Stormy. You yeah, just a good girl. But the little one, Coco, can fit just perfectly. And she doesn't mind so much the bath, um, especially since it's so conveniently located in the house. And what's cool about having an inside bath for your dog is you can warm the water so they're not freezing the whole time, which she truly does appreciate. All right. Since the uh, quarantine, we've had to trim her hair by ourselves, which looks kind of chewed on. And we've had to bathe her ourselves, which is not a big deal. That's not a big deal, but the cutting and trimming and grooming, <laughs> that's been kind of a fun little thing that's been going on here lately. Okay. It is time to rinse you off, my lady. Let's do this. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> Feels good, huh? <laughs> Just like I do my hair in the shower, you just like take the top and you just like push it down and you get a little bit more out. So I try to do that for her and she lets me. Okay, I think you're done. Yes, I think you're done. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> Kisses. Okay. Okay, so I got her dried by towel or towel dry, but now it is time to dry her with a blow dryer because I don't want to keep her wet and cold. I don't want her getting sick, especially since I don't want to go to the vet. Yeah, so I'll spend a few extra minutes and dry her thoroughly. Okay, so she is not 100%, <laughs> she's not 100% dry, but it's good enough to where she's not going to get sick. And if you're wondering, she is called a Havapoo. She's half Havanese and half Poodle, and I think the name is hilarious. Havapoo. Hmm. I'm not too uh, finicky with my dogs, because I ain't got time for that, but uh, I do want her to feel good and look presentable. Riley is our in-house nail clipper. So uh, she does a really good job because it scares me to do it with black nails and Jill. that right there. Yep. She doesn't like it done.
Now these girls are going to brush her teeth. This is grooming day for Miss Coco. I can't see anything but your big hand. She's like, oh, I'm out of here. I'll brush her. Where'd you go? Get over here. Get over. And brushing teeth is really good for dogs. We don't do it all the time, but it really is because it helps them from getting cavities and abscessed and makes abscess will make their face puff up and can make them really sick. But she absolutely hates it. Oh, so fresh, and your breath smells better. <laughs> Not really. Because when they get tartar on their teeth, um, that gives them the bad breath, just like humans. Bye. No. We're gonna pull, and this is the start of laying it out and prepping it and getting it ready. Adam was missing a piece, so he's gone to the store to get another one. Um, and this is our pool. We opted just for an easy one because we've never actually done this before. I'm so excited. I'm ready to get it up um, and have something else to do outside. We have a basketball goal. We have little things to ride on, but um, the girls want to swim. So this would be the coolest thing to do. So we got a pool. We needed a pool. And we have a trampoline. Miss Cam Cam is on it right now. And with rocks inside. I don't know what, what that's all about, but she enjoys it, so I'm good with that. Yeah, I'm gonna show you my um, future herb garden area. I really want to be more self sufficient, and I really love having the ability to cure our own ailments, possibly. I'm brand new, we'll see how long it lasts, but I've always been very interested in it. Um, but what I do find really cool is. There are wild blackberries in our premises, all over our property. And they're edible, obviously. Um, I've done research and I actually remember eating wild berries when I was younger. And so it's so cool to actually have something that you can forage at your own place um, that gives you nutrients that you don't have to go buy. It's free. It's so cool. So here is one. Can I just pick? Do you see it? Yay! So go ahead and eat that. Pop it in your mouth. Yum! Isn't it delish? And these blackberries, because they are wild, um, actually have more flavor and I love them. We Our counter, we have a little place on our counter that is full of them. It's so cool. So I'm going in for this black one. Whenever you're going in for anything wild, obviously be, be aware of your surroundings because uh, bugs and snakes love berries. And spiders too so just be aware of your surroundings and that's beautiful and they taste so delish some of its seeds came off because mm -hmm. i touched it i'll blow it you gonna blow it Woo. <laughs> cool huh now i get oh and this one this one's gonna be pretty that one's gonna be ready tomorrow it's so pretty that one's ready today Wait, we just come out every day and there's more berries so we're gonna have to eat more of them at once or maybe um, simmer them down and put them in a the juice form Ow! I you could smoothie these you could smoothie okay. these or um, I put them in yogurt sometimes too they're really yummy hey, look, I found this one low you found that one where down there oh yeah cool they're just everywhere it's so neat Oh, you ate it. I was going to take a picture of it. Yeah, I didn't eat that. So far, we've found that. That's um, there is one place on the property that has humongous ones that I love going to. I absolutely love doing things outside that are with nature, and I love my kids getting out there with nature. I think it's important for uh, people to get back to nature, actually. I think it makes, I believe, it makes you uh, respect life more. Um, and for me, if I'm in a, like a bleh mood, it makes me feel better. Um, so we used to live in a more cramped area. And now that we are out here, just more like, oh, I can breathe. And I feel like a lot more people need that. Um, not everyone can have it, but just get out and do something in nature. Just 
calms your nerves somewhat. We're almost to what I want to call the honey hole because it has, yeah, the biggies. It has the big wild blackberries. We call them biggies. 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 <laughs> Must have been a squirrel or something. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. So here is the biggies. I don't know why they grow bigger than the other ones, but they do. Look at these beautiful ones. Look. They're so beautiful. Maybe yeah, that one, eaten. I think he's been eaten. Mm -hmm. So we probably have another day on these red ones. Probably another day. Um, and then all of these juicy, bright red ones will be black. Which I cannot wait. Oh, I think, I, think hey, I found a big one. turning black over there, over here. There's one turning black. I got one. Look at this one. It's humongous. It's the size the of my, my finger, my oh. forefinger. Look. That's mine. It's I mean, got a little red on it. Um, but it's... I, I obviously went ahead and picked it. The thing with these is, unless you just want them unripe, unless you just want these unripe, don't pick them beforehand because they will not continue to turn after you pick them. And when they're bright red like that, I sometimes like them because they are tart. So it doesn't bother me too much. Here comes Miss Madison with Miss Cuckoo, aka Coco. <laughs> we found a biggie. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah? Um, that's it. I found a few black Oh, I see it. Yeah, yes. All right. Well, let's head oh, in. I got sidetracked and forgot to take you to my soon-to-be herbal small garden area because I'm not I'm not ready to go full fledged. Mm -mm. I am a country girl at heart. I grew up in the country, but I've been living in the city for so long. Um, I don't have those skills yet, but I'm, I'm reading up and practicing. And so here is my garden area, or soon to be herbal garden area. It's, it's like 12 by 10 or something, I don't know. But I'm gonna have some raised beds, um, probably a little island for a workstation. It's gonna work. So, moving on, we're gonna go back inside. I'm gonna show you all the berries we have collected. And these are the berries that we've collected over a couple days. Like I said, you can only really pick them when they're black if you want them ripe. Oops. So, um, that's a, that's a lot of berries for hey guys, us. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the subscribe button and ring that notification bell and comment down below what you'd like to see next. We're going to be doing a lot of things. Um, I'm going to call it homesteading on the island when I'm doing my garden because, uh, I'm on an island and I'm going to try my hand at homesteading. We might even get some chickens. We'll see about that. But in the meantime, take it easy. Just be, just live, enjoy your family, your friends, and just relax, guys. Just try to relax and enjoy life as it is. See you next time. Deal with the pump, Madison. The hose. <laughs> it looks like a snake. That is weird. She's not doing it like that. Is she doing it? it? I'm moving. That's wild. I'm just wiggling it, but it's just standing up like that. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. <laughs>